Question seven is all about thinking, which information do I actually need to solve a problem? So Lynn's got this problem. How many children are in the class? That's what she wants to know. It says, tick all the information that Lynn needs to solve her problem. And we've got three options. So let's have a look at each statement. There are nine girls in the class. There are five girls in the class that wear glasses. And there are twice as many boys as girls in the class. Well, if she knows that there are nine girls in the class and there are twice as many boys in the class, well, the, the number of boys would be the nine times two because there's twice as many. So there would actually be 18 boys in the class. If we know that there's nine girls in the class and now we use the fact that there's twice as many, so there's 18 boys in the class, then we could work out how many children are in the class altogether because it would be nine girls plus 18 boys which would give us nine and eight is 17 one and one is two so there'd be 27 children altogether. so we need that statement and we need that statement the other statement that says five girls in the class wear glasses doesn't really help us She's not interested in how many children wear glasses. She's interested in the total number of children in the class. In other words, the boys plus the girls. And the information we need to do that is the top and the bottom statement. So they're the ones that we need to tick. If we scroll down to the next question, it says David needs to solve this problem. How much do two oranges and one apple cost? Tick all the information that David needs to solve his problem. So, an orange costs 5p more than an apple. An apple costs 20p. And David has £1. Well, he, he is asking how much do they cost. He isn't asking can he afford it. So, it, it doesn't really matter about this bottom statement. So, let's look at the other two statements. An orange costs 5p more than an apple. Well, if an apple is 20p and an orange is 5p more, an orange must be 25p. So could we now use that information to work out how much two oranges and one apple cost? Well, two oranges would cost 50p, because one orange is 25p, so two of those would be 50p. An apple costs 20p, so altogether, two oranges and one apple would be 50p plus 20p, which is going to be 70p. So we check the question again. David needs to solve this problem. How much two oranges and one apple cost? Well, we've managed to solve it. It's 70p. And we've used that information and that information. We at no point have we had to use the fact that David's got a pound best advice in this situation is to actually solve the problem and then decide which information you used to solve that problem just like we've done here we've solved it it costs 70p and we use these two bits of information on the previous one we've solved it there was 27 children and we use the top and the bottom piece of information leave blank the bit of information that you don't need 